We've seen how you can choose to operate only on some files by using ranges and wildcard characters. Unibase keeps track of lots of information about a file and also lets you choose files based on some of those attributes in addition to specifying the name. This is done with menu item L, file protection, on the file functions menu. When we select it, Unibase lets us set file protection for four different functions. File delete, file edit, that's running an edit program, file sort, that's running a sort program, and file status. That's a menu item on the file input output menu, not the display files or displayed file information on the file functions menu. As you look at these, you may wonder where the output requirements are. DMAC put that protection on each standard job, so you have a lot of control over the requirements for the files you output. Let's choose Delete Requirements to see what limits we can set. Everything described here also applies to the other protection functions. You can set seven requirements for the files to be deleted. And there are three choices of answer for each question. Y means yes, it has to have this requirement. N means no, it can't have this requirement. And leaving the choice blank means I don't care about the requirement. Either way works for me. The first item is whether or not the file is terminated. Y means it has to be terminated. N means it should not be terminated. And blank means I don't care. I mentioned in the lessons on data entry that some shops have their operators use interrupt a batch when the batch is not complete. This would be a good way to ensure that only completed batches of work are processed. The second item concerns verification. The same yes, no, or I don't care choices don't need any more explanation. The third item is whether or not the file has a file log. Some shops program a file edit to look for errors and record them in the file log. The presence of a file log means the batch has errors that need to be corrected. If your site uses error flags to mark problem areas, you might not want to process files with error flags. If you don't use error flags, this item wouldn't matter have been output. If you answer yes to this one, you would only delete batches that had been output. That would be useful. If you use batch balancing, when you learn how to program it, you could specify that only batches in balance get processed, or only batches not in balance. You might choose that for the status display. The last item is a bit harder to explain since indexing is taught in advanced Unibase lessons. But if a file is part of an index, you wouldn't want to delete it because then you couldn't use the index. You can set the answers to these questions to suit your needs. You would use them to process only those files that passed all the requirements, saving you having to choose yes or no on every single file. We've got the delete requirements set right now so that a batch has to be terminated and should not be verified before we successfully delete it. Let's see what happens when we do this. First, we'll copy our serve batches again to curve batches. Then, let's use delete on CURV asterisk. And this time we see that of the six batches, four of them are going to get deleted and two of them are not. This one because it's got zero records in it and this one most likely because it has been verified. Let's go ahead and do the display and sure enough, two of the batches didn't get deleted. 